Oh. See you later, Saucy. You're playing against a pro. Oh my god, the beams! What is going on, guys? Pro Player Apathy here, back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about the good old update that happened recently. I know I'm a little late to the party, but a lot of you guys know the Milano got super buffed. Yes, the gun is actually pretty damn good now, but is it good enough? Milano versus the AK-74U, it's a big question. Obviously, they're both really good. I know, I know a lot of you guys know too, the 74U got nerfed as well. So, does it average out? Who's better? What's better? We're going to hop in some gameplay. I'm going to show you guys a Milano class setup and a AK-74U class setup. But, I think the AK-74U still has a Milano beat just by a little bit. But... We'll see. So very quickly, let's go to the classes. Um, we're going to show you the Milano class setup first. So obviously, five attachment Milano. If you run Gunfighter, it is a little better. But for competitive especially, Flag Tack is just really good on submachine guns. We got the muzzle break. The vertical recoil control is just very high. So you want to lower that a bit. We got the barrel. Now, reinforced heavy is technically allowed. is not allowed, especially in the pro level. So I would use either Ranger or Extended. But if you want to get a little cheesy with it, the reinforced heavy obviously adds extra damage range. So that's always nice. But I would run just a Ranger. For the under barrel, we got the speed grip. Another great attachment with submachine guns. If you feel like it's... Because this gun does have a little bit of a kick to it. If you want to beam a little harder, then you could always run the field agent grip. Um, you do lose that movement speed buff, which is really nice. But you can kind of mess and test both of these out. For the handle, we got the airborne and elastic wrap. And for the stock, we got the raider stock. Just those two are basically a given. Now, for the AK-74U, the gun that every pro player uses. Well, basically, we're still using the same AK-74U class. Some of you guys know muzzle is out. We are no longer using a muzzle. Will it come back in? Not entirely sure yet. I think the muzzle might come back into play. If you guys don't know, in the competitive scene or at the pro level, we are playing at the old patch right now. So we don't need to use this Nerf 74U. So this is the, these are the attachments we're currently running. Uh, extended, Spet Not Speed Grip, Elastic Wrap, and the stock. But the recoil did get... Uh, the 74U has a little bit more recoil now. And it's a little bit, a little bit worse. So... I think once we go back into the, once we start playing on the new patch i definitely see a muzzle coming to play they're both very good but i'm probably gonna rock the muzzle break to be honest now let's hop into the league play game let's see if the 74u is still really dominant i have shot some bots with it but nothing crazy so i've been like i said i've been playing on the old patch pretty much so let's see what this new patch feels like is the milano better or is the 74u better all right guys we're playing some miami strike this is actually my first time playing this map i wanted to play a lead play game but i just kept getting searched and oh my god 74 is disgusting still but i did want to play some cdl playlist snap he'll play this dude i'm thinking i'm back on nw please not that nightmare again but unfortunately, I just kept getting Search and Destroy. And I'm pretty sure, one, it is not fun to do a video on Search and Destroy. And two, I think, uh, you know, especially testing on a gun and using this new 74 you I definitely want to use Respawn. Damn. LC10 is still absurd, man. So we're here with Kill Confirmed on Miami Strike. I mean, wait. That, oh, this is one. I mean, it feels solid. Like, the gun is still pretty damn good. I definitely feel the nerf a little bit. I think running Muzzle Break is honestly helping as well hmm i could i feel the bullet velocity a little bit right there this guy has no radar right now oh my god it's going crazy oh i didn't mean to do that oh be what first time play this map and it's very small oh, i just what wait where did i get shot from oh see you later saucy you're playing against a pro oh my god the beams the beams they're here Holy hell. There's a lot of people. Can I hide here? Don't look for me. Don't look for me. Aha! That's a, that counter UAV or counter spy plane comes in factor full fact. So, shooting this new 74U, I definitely noticed the recoil a bit. The muzzle break is helping a little bit, but I'm definitely noticing the recoil and I'm definitely noting the bullet velocity in certain gunfights. Um, that lower bullet velocity is just. It's a little kick, dude. What is that? The LC10 is absurd. But uh, using the Milano, I used it a little bit earlier. And using the 74U now, I think the 74U is still better. They're definitely both very close. And maybe you can use the Milano on certain maps. Man, but the 74U still kicks 
uh booty it's still it's still pretty damn good we got attack helicopter here let's call this in put this in i'm gonna help my teammate oh yeah it's so i mean the, the biggest thing about the 74u is dude i thought i killed him but i did not but the biggest thing about 74u is the fact that the bullet velocity got nerfed right but the damage is still the same see you later buddy Oh, you just hate that one right there. Oh my god. I'm, am I James? Who is this? James Bond? James Bond just flew out. There's a guy behind me. I knew it. He's blind. See you later. Dog sheet player. Oh, dog sheet player. Oh, like he's dog meat. Okay. Oh, got him. So you could definitely see like the Milano being used randomly. Over to AK-74U, uh, maybe certain maps. I've seen some like really good players using in Milano and trying it out, but the 74U just the damage didn't get touched, and obviously the bullet velocity can affect the bullet rag and whatnot. And, but the damage is something what makes the 74U so dominant. It just has a, that four shot kill range up close, the five shot kill like medium range. I'm just trying to figure out this map, but when you have all these things still there i mean it's just so freaking good and all the other subs are it's not good enough to compete with a sub like this any for you so i think once we we go to the new patch um i think pros are still gonna use 74 you you know a gun i would actually like to use and probably be kind of fun the bison the muzzle break is definitely helping a ton like I feel like this is a 74 you are currently using. Yo, fuck boy, stop stealing my finisher, you stupid fing f. What the f? The f is that guy's problem, bro? So I know a lot of you guys have your own favorite submachine guns. It's just how I like the 74 u I like the Bison. Um, yeah, that's that's a that's a beamer right there. That's a beamer right there. So I'm kind of curious. Bang! Shot punch! Oh, you just hate that. I'm kind of curious. What is your guys' like favorite 74 you Or in favorite 74 you What is your guys' favorite SMG that you would like seeing, you know, pro players using or the competitive scene? Oh, my God. That's what you get. You get smoked. Like, I'm assuming you guys have some, like, one of your favorite submachine gun other than the 74 you because I don't think everyone's is a 74 you so I'm just kind of curious. Leave it down in the comments below what SMG you would like to see in the league. I would low-key like to see the Bison. Even MP5 is pretty fun to use. Oh, okay. War Machine. That's what we're doing. Haha, you missed. You missed once and you're dead. You're dead, buddy. You're dead. You're dead. Oh. Oh my god, he almost got turned on, but 74 you just isn't the same. But after using Milano and 74 u yeah, 74 u is still the gun to go. Here, I'll destroy this for you. That little nade right there. And that's a W. Let's go, baby. That's how we do it. 44-11. You ready to live out? Straight beams. Damn city. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little video. 74U is still the go-to gun. Honestly, Milano, I see like some of the top challenger players and I see like some pro players trying out the Milano and it's definitely not bad. But as of now, I just think the 74U is just the, the go gun. It's just it. Like maybe in the near future, especially when pros do the switch to the new update and we test stuff out more, we test out stuff with more attachments. I don't know, maybe certain maps. I definitely can see a Milano come into play, but man, the 74 uses something serious still. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos. I do do I do have some tip videos. So you guys want to check that out, learn something new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Great, great everything. Peace.